on the streets, you have different asphalt changing all over where you go. You go up and down, you have potholes, you have everything. I got a bit more of the bump, I got a little home. You have no space for any mistakes. If you do a mistake, you probably end up in a wall. Dennis has thrown it into the barriers. It's a real challenge to find a good setup for the car for it, but also as a driver, it's very difficult to find your way in it. It starts the weekend with a track walk. It's a very important time of the day because the track walk is actually the very first time we get to see the track in its flesh. The places we go to, the, the streets we race on, they are not being repaved just because we come there and, and race in these places. So we have to live with what we get. And uh, you know, the asphalt changes over the course of the lap, I okay, guess, a thousand times pretty much. There's manhole covers you, you sometimes have to avoid, a lot of bumps. You have to adapt to the circumstances. And I think that's what's pretty exciting about Formula E. In the Formula E Championship, we don't have any standard waste track, so you get much less grip coming out from the tarmac, and therefore we have to produce the grip which is coming from the tire. So there, the durability is really much harder. We have designed these tires to last, so the one set can withstand all the practice, qualifying and racing, either hot or cold, or dry or wet. This thread is working on a soft and on a hard compound. So the soft compound which is inside should work under wet conditions and the outside compound under dry conditions. You have much more load, you have much more torque, you have completely different temperature windows where they have to work and this is making comparison to our standard slick a really completely different development process. There is a sensor on the WIM, which is measuring a lot of data from pressure, temperature, humidity inside of the tire, which is completely new development. For us, it's been really something completely new, which we never did before. There's not been a huge amount of wet qualies over the years, but looks like we're going to get one today, that's for sure. Berlin was a tough challenge for all of us because it's really the first time that we are getting in contact with the water on the track outside and also the tarmac in Berlin is not really easy so we even have under dry conditions low grip. You can simulate it for sure but outside on the track it's a completely different thing. I always feel quite strong in the wet as we saw in Berlin wet for the first time. Immediately when I went out and I think it was FP3. Straight in lap one, we were quickest. You feel that the car's working, I can do with the car what I want, I can play around with it. And for the first time this season, are into the duels. We came to the duels, which was actually a first victory for us. And then throughout the duels, we won every duel. It's right! It's Nico Muller for Abt! And you suddenly in the final with your teammate. It was nice to do. Are we on for an Abt front row lockout in Berlin against all odds? We are! That's a good feeling of trust within the car you have and trust within the team you have. Robin Freitz looking for his second pole position in his Formula E career, and he's got it, and he's smashed it.